Not ready to spend hundreds a month on a keyword research tool? Well, thanks to ChatGPT and Keywords Everywhere, you can now do keyword research completely free with the prompt templates provided by Keywords Everywhere. So I want to show you those prompt templates today that you can use to start doing keyword research completely free. So let's get started. Okay, so to get access to the prompt templates that you can use to do keyword research for free on ChatGPT, you need keywords everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and install this browser add-on for either Chrome or Firefox. Once you have this installed, log in to your OpenAI account and click on this templates button. So when you click on this, it'll open up the prompt templates widget. Keywords Everywhere has tons of ChatGPT prompt templates for various categories like copywriting, marketing, SEO, social media, productivity, and also for specific professionals. Now to get access to the keyword research prompts, we need to click on SEO. And for subcategory, we need to click on keyword research. So you can use any of these prompt templates to do keyword research completely free inside ChatGPT. Let's click on long tail keyword generator. So this right here is the prompt template that Keywords Everywhere created to help you get related keywords with search intent from any seed keyword you want, okay? So you can choose from different languages here, and this is where you add your seed keyword. So let's just put down uh, pillows, and as you type in your seed keyword, you'll notice that the seed keyword automatically gets added to this prompt template. And you can also tell ChatGPT how many total keywords you want it to generate. So in this instance, let's just put 10 total keywords, and you can put as many keywords as you wish. Now I'm going to click on execute. Okay, so this is our prompt and this is what ChatGPT generated and it organized all the long tail keywords in this really nice table so you can easily uh, analyze and skim all of your long tail keywords. So for our seed keyword pillows, these are the long tail keywords. So best memory foam pillow, orthopedic pillows, affordable neck pillows, cooling gel pillows, and so on. It also provided us with the search intent as well. This will help you determine what type of content people are looking for whenever they search for these long tail keywords. Our prompt also told ChatGPT to create a list of the same keywords up here separated by commas. So if you want to copy and paste this wherever you want, you could basically copy this and paste it. Now I want to show you the next template. So let's click here and let's click on related keyword generator. So this is the prompt template provided by Keywords Everywhere. And let's put down our seed keyword right here. And total keywords, let's do 10 and click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT generated a list of related keywords for our seed keyword pillows. And it also provided us with the search intent for each one of the related keywords. So you can see some good ones like throw pillows, which is a related one, neck pillows, cushions, so on and so forth. Now you can see these related keywords are much shorter than the long tail keywords it provided us earlier. You can clearly see the difference between the two lists. Now this related keyword template is a great one to use if you want to broaden the scope of your seed keyword to figure out what additional terms people might be interested in and related to your main keyword. Now this one just shows us 10, but of course you can always increase the total keyword amount right here within the widget and then click on execute template again and then it'll show you additional keywords as much as you wish. All right, let's go to the next prompt template. Let's click on, let's see here, uh, get search intent for keywords. So let's just say you had a subscription to Keywords Everywhere and you were doing a search on pillows and taking a look at the Keywords Everywhere widgets on the right hand side. And, you know, they give you a list of long tail keywords with the search volume, average cost per click, competition score, and a search trend over the past 12 months. Right now, this widget doesn't necessarily show you the search intent, but let's just say we want to know what the search intent is for each one of these long tail keywords. So what you can do is just click on copy and open up an Excel document and paste it. And all you do is just copy this column right here, go back to ChatGPT, and paste your keywords right here and click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT analyzed all of our long tail keywords and provided us 
with the search intent for each one of them. Now we have a much better idea of what type of content to create for these keywords. Now I want to show you the last prompt template and that is keyword strategy. Now this is one of my favorite uh, prompt templates because it will create an entire keyword strategy for your seed keyword. So if you are launching a brand new website, this is an excellent one to use to plan out all of your pages, plan out your site structure, or if you are restructuring a current website and want to figure out if you have any content gaps or how to organize and interlink pages, with one another, this is also another good prompt template to use. So I'm gonna put down my C keyword right here. And for total keywords, let's do 100. And this is our prompt template and click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, we have an entire keyword strategy that we can use as a content plan to build out our website, okay? Now it's organized, all of these 100 keywords are organized by category. So let me scroll all the way up so you have your category column right here. So types of pillows and the keyword. So memory foam pillows, neck pillows, wedge pillows, and so on. And for the next category, there's pillow accessories. So pillow covers, inserts, anti-snore pillows, cooling gel, and so on. Also popular brands, pillow care, and it continues. Now, aside from the keywords themselves, ChatGPT also provided us with the search intent for the keywords and also a recommended page title and a meta description. So what you can do is use this document and plan out your pages to target each one of these keywords. So you can create a page around memory foam pillows and use this title tag and also this meta description. And I really like how ChatGPT organized these keywords and categories. So if you are trying to figure out how to structure your main navigation, maybe you can have a category page around types. And below that, you can have a page targeting each one of these keywords. And then you can create another category page around accessories and create these specific pages for this specific category and so on. And then of course, follow the recommended title tags and meta descriptions. So this is a great prompt template that you can use to start a brand new website or maybe to reorganize a current website. So as you can see with the prompts from Keywords Everywhere and ChatGPT, you can do your keyword research completely free. So you have tons of information at your fingertips that you can use. But one thing that's missing here is the search volume. So if you subscribe to Keywords Everywhere, you have access to these widgets on the right-hand side whenever you do a search on Google. So for example, the people also search for a widget. You have all of these keywords at your disposal that you can analyze and review. And they also provide you with the search volume, the average cost per click. Now this comes from Google Ads. We have the competition score from Google Ads and the exact search volume over the past 12 months that you can analyze. So not, on, not only do you have the long tail keywords and additional keywords, but again, you have all of this data that you can analyze to help you determine what are the best keywords you should be targeting for your website. So to get a subscription, I'll just go to keywordseverywhere.com and click on pricing and subscribe today. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.